Adobe just released research on an AI system that generates and controls video in real time using mouse movements. This is called Motion Stream and it represents a fundamentally different approach to AI video generation. Instead of typing prompts and waiting for results, you can drag elements around a canvas and watch the video respond instantly. Let me show you how this works and what makes it technically impressive. Motion Stream generates video at 29 frames per second with only 0.4 seconds of latency. This qualifies as genuine real-time performance. For context, most AI video generators require minutes to produce a few seconds of footage. Motion Stream renders video as fast as you can move your mouse. The system runs on a single NVIDIA H100 GPU. While H100s are expensive enterprise-grade hardware, the fact that one GPU handles real-time generation demonstrates impressive optimization. This isn't theoretical research requiring massive compute clusters, it's practical technology that could deploy in production environments. The core innovation involves direct manipulation of video elements through mouse interaction. You generate an initial video scene, then control object motion by dragging your cursor across the canvas. The video responds immediately, adjusting the movement of elements to match your mouse trajectory. For example, when controlling ocean waves, dragging your mouse creates wave motion that follows your cursor path. The wave animation renders in real time with minimal noticeable delay between your mouse movement and the video response. This creates an intuitive interface where you directly manipulate the video content rather than describing changes through text prompts. The physics simulation maintains believability during these interactions. When you drag elements, they don't just translate position, they animate naturally according to their physical properties. Water flows, objects move with appropriate weight and momentum, and the overall scene maintains visual coherence. Motion Stream uses a grid-based control system that enables precise manipulation of specific video regions. You place grids on the canvas and assign them different behaviors. Static grids mark areas that should remain fixed and motionless. Dynamic grids indicate regions you want to control through mouse movement. This layered control system allows sophisticated manipulation. You can set a background to static while animating a foreground object. You can fix most of an object while animating only specific parts. The grid system provides granular control over which elements move and which stay fixed. A dog example demonstrates this capability. You place a red static grid covering most of the frame, ensuring the background remains motionless. Then you place a green dynamic grid on the dog and drag it around. The dog moves according to your mouse movement while everything else stays perfectly still. The background doesn't warp or shift, only the explicitly controlled element animates. Taking this further, you can place multiple grids on different parts of a single object. Put static grids on a dog's nose and right arm to fix those elements in place. Add a dynamic grid to the left arm. Now only the left arm animates when you drag the green grid, while the rest of the dog remains stationary. This enables animation of specific body parts while keeping others fixed. This level of control addresses a major limitation in current AI video generators. The system demonstrates understanding of object physics and anatomy beyond simple position translation. When dragging an elephant around the canvas, the entire body moves with appropriate weight and momentum. The elephant doesn't just slide across the scene, it animates with natural body movement that respects elephant anatomy. Legs move in walking patterns, the trunk sways naturally, and the overall motion appears believable. This suggests the underlying model understands object structure rather than just manipulating pixels. The system knows what an elephant is and how elephants move, allowing it to generate appropriate animation when you control the position. A cup pouring example reveals both capabilities and limitations. Dragging a cup around the canvas while liquid pours demonstrates physics simulation. As you move the cup, liquid spills naturally onto the plate and table. The liquid flow responds to cup position and orientation, creating believable pouring physics. However, a significant error appears in this example. The liquid never stops pouring, an infinite amount of tea flows from the cup regardless of how long you pour or how much spills. This reveals that while the system understands short-term physics of liquid flow, it doesn't maintain logical consistency about finite quantities. The local physics simulation works, but global scene logic has gaps. Motion Stream uses a teacher-student training approach to achieve real-time performance. The teacher model generates high-quality videos but operates slowly, requiring significant processing time. These high-quality generations from the teacher model serve as training data for the student model. The student model learns to approximate the teacher's output quality while operating much faster. This distillation process transfers knowledge from the slow, high-quality model to a fast, efficient one. The student model runs in real-time, generating 29 frames per second with minimal latency.
Importantly, Motion Stream is not a completely new video generation model built from scratch. The system leverages Alibaba's One, currently the leading open source video generator. Motion Stream represents a framework built on top of One rather than an entirely novel architecture. This approach makes sense from both technical and practical perspectives. One already excels at video generation quality, building an interactive control layer on top of existing strong models is more efficient than developing both generation and control capabilities from scratch. Nevertheless, the real-time control framework represents genuine innovation, creating a system that can manipulate video elements with 0.4 second latency while maintaining quality requires sophisticated engineering beyond just using an existing model. Adobe released a GitHub repository link, but the code is not currently available. The description states the code is under internal company review for potential open sourcing. Adobe has not provided a firm timeline and release may or may not occur depending on review outcomes. Given Adobe's history with proprietary software and their business model based on subscription services, expecting full open source release seems optimistic. Companies rarely open source technology that could become commercial product features. Motion stream capabilities would integrate naturally into Adobe's video editing suite, making it valuable proprietary technology. The technical paper is publicly available with detailed methodology and results. Additional examples and demonstrations appear on the project page. This provides valuable research insights even without access to code. Other teams can implement similar approaches based on the published methods. However, without open source code, individual developers and small teams cannot directly build on this work. The research demonstrates what's possible but doesn't immediately enable widespread adoption of real-time video control technology. The complete technical paper and additional demonstration videos are available on the project page. All links are in the description below. If you want updates on AI video generation breakthroughs and honest technical analysis, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.